Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 9th. So we're just going to see what comes up. This is for February 9th for whoever. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so, you know, it is what it is, right? So what do we have for February 9th? we have for February 9th. <gasps> Wonderful. Wonderful. So we may be faced to, with our demons, <laughs> right? We may be faced with our demons on this day. Um, be careful. Be careful because all is not as it seems, okay? I mean, this is ruled by the shadow, okay? It is. So something is not as it seems. It may seem like it's all perfect, but it may not be, okay? There may be some ulterior motives here. There could be uh, some sort of manipulation that you're not seeing because it looks so good. Just beware looks good but looks can be deceiving be careful be really careful what you invest your time and energy in because you know you may try to make something grow that isn't or somebody may want you to help them make something grow <laughs> or whatever but it may not it may not pan out it may not pan out. It may not. It may be unrealistic. It may leave you feeling dissatisfied. Okay? Just beware. It's kind of like, I don't know where this came from. A lot of people won't want to hear this. It's kind of like, you know, getting into bed with somebody and they're not what you thought they were. Okay? They don't end up, they don't own up to their end of the bargain. Just saying. I mean, that's a, I don't know where that analogy came from, but, I mean, you may think you're, you're going to get the whole package and you get, you get uh, down to the nitty gritty and, you know, it's not what you thought it was. So, whatever. Anyhow, yeah, it's it's not. It's like it's not the opportunity that you thought it was. It really isn't. Um, <clears throat> wow, look at the pentacles. Now, this could have to do with money. This could have to do with a job. It could have to do with um, anything financial. Any kind of agreement that you're making or any kind of plan you may be planning that or thinking you're going to get something stable out of something and it's all a lie. Somebody may be manipulating you out of greed, okay? There's definitely greed here. You're dealing with a greedy individual who may be presenting themselves as, you know, this is this is this is beautiful. This is this is everything you ever wanted and it is very um unrealistic. So so what, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, somebody seems, they may, may be pretending to come in with a huge offer. Okay, that's a pretty big pentacle right there. But it's being held by a page. It's being held by somebody that doesn't really have a lot of experience, really doesn't know what they're saying, really doesn't know, just hasn't, doesn't have the um, morals or the backbone to even follow through with what they say, okay? So just beware, just beware, okay? You may be dealing with somebody who's immature and they, maybe they think that they're offering you something good because they don't have, they just, they don't even know. Just, just saying. Wow. Yeah, this is a, this person, whoever, whoever is making you this offer, it's like, 
I think they're wanting something out of you. They're trying to get something out of you. They're trying to get, maybe they're trying to get some of your money. Maybe they're trying to get some of your security. You know what I mean? Because they're insecure. We have the five of pentacles reversed. They're trying to recover. Okay. They're trying to recover financially, perhaps, you know, and they're, or they're trying to recover something, you know, they're trying to recover their stability. They're looking for a handout, <laughs> whatever. Beware, this could pertain to a, a romantic relationship or a business partnership or whatever this is. It's like somebody's looking for a handout. And they, you know, I feel like whoever you're dealing with isn't really capable of giving you what they say they're going to give you. So just beware, just beware. Um, be straight. It's going to look so freaking good that you are probably going to have to find the power the power within you to see it as it is, okay? Because it's going to it's going to look so good. It's going to it's going to make you feel good. It's going to it's it's going to test you, put it that way. It's going to test your willpower. It's going to test your strength. It's going to test your self-worth, okay? Whatever this is. You're going to need to find your strength to really look look beyond the surface okay look beyond the surface make sure you're not just looking on the outside make sure you look digging deep here because restrain yourself find whatever you can do to restrain yourself from this alluring situation because you will probably be like whoo wow, you know, you that kind of energy, like, wow, this looks so damn good, you know, and there's probably a deep attraction to it, whatever it is, you're, you're attracted to it, because that's what the devil does, okay, that's what the devil energy does, it, it brings you stuff to test you, this is a test, okay, it is a test, it is, it brings you stuff to, to weigh you down, to hold you back, to see how strong you are, okay, just, you know, test your, your patience, it tests your will, it tests your self-worth, it tests your character, okay? So just beware. Um, you're going to know what you need to do, okay? Trust your intuition. Your intuition is going to lead the way. It is going to lead the way. Um, you may just want to walk right away from this situation. Turn your back on it because it doesn't look like it is going to lead to a uh, wish fulfillment. It looks to me like um, there's some deception here. You know, this guy is turning his back. He's looking at the moon. The moon is a card of shadow as well. Something is not as it seems. So beware. Um... <laughs> Looks like you are going to have an opportunity. You're going to have an opportunity to leave some past behind, some past hurts behind, whatever this is. I mean, the Three of Swords is leaving past hurts behind. Somebody that deceived you, this is an apology. In many cases, this is an apology may be coming in with some sort of offer, whether it's an apology or it's somebody brand new. Somebody is coming in with an offer and it's an opportunity to, you know, you know, the Three of Swords is leaving the past behind, leaving the past hurts behind. Three of Swords reversed. Leaving the pain behind. Releasing pain. It's about healing and forgiveness. Somebody may be coming to ask for forgiveness. And you're going to be really conflicted about it. You're going to be really, because this is conflict. There's been a lot of back and forth. There's been a lot of pettiness. It's like there's been a lot of games that have been played. 
been a big game, right? It's been a whole lot of drama. There's a lot of tension here. Maybe this person wants to release the tension. Maybe it's just like, I want to cut this tension now. You know, I don't want to have this anymore. You know, I have to tell you, expect the unexpected because it looks like we are going to have some unexpected offer that comes in. Um, in which, you know, you have an opportunity to perhaps... <laughs> Go back or keep going. You know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Do you want to, do you, do you, what are you going to do? Because I feel like you are definitely going to be tested. You're going to be tested with uh, a partnership, okay? Twos are, we got a partnership here in which somebody may be finding their courage to come forth with some sort of apology and you know, it, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel good. It makes you, it makes you, you know, you want it. You do want it. It feels like you do want it. I mean, you do want it. You want it. But it feels like there's been so much tension in the past. There's been so much insecurity in the past. And there were so many games in the past that, you know, maybe, maybe this person comes back asking for forgiveness and you're like... <laughs> This is unrealistic. This is unrealistic. I don't even... This is unrealistic. Maybe you feel like this is unrealistic. Maybe you know this is unrealistic, you know? Um, somebody... I mean, these are both cards of ego right here. Somebody's ego is in greed. Both of them. Both of them really are. So it's like somebody is... Their motives may not be based on emotional fulfillment it may be based on financial security so just just beware beware um what is this what is this uh three of swords reversed this is an opportunity to release the past hurts it is release them i mean you could be just releasing this tension maybe this is this brings about some closure and although i don't see a closure card but we did have the world before at the bottom of the deck, and I didn't mention it, which is close, closure. So I feel like somebody is going to do the noble thing. This is the noble king. And it's funny, before I started this reading, this is this is the card that I saw. So this is funny. And I was going to, so this is about doing the right thing, doing the noble thing. So perhaps somebody is going to face their own demons this can go so many ways they're gonna they're gonna step outside of their ego perhaps perhaps they've been awakened i mean because this moon can be seeing things clearly as well maybe they walked away from a stable situation they're seeing the situation clearly now and it's time to do the noble thing it's time to stop pretending Maybe it's time to stop playing games. You know, I'm not sure because this could this is for so many people. It looks to me like somebody is about to do the right thing. They're finding the courage. They're finding the strength. They're finding the discipline to do what they have to do to heal a situation. This is healing. Somebody may be coming forth with some sort of apology and it looks really good really good it does it looks really really good and you know you may have to make some painful stressful decision as to whether you want to get back into this game or not do you want to play this game or not i mean do you want to get back in or not can you open your eyes and see it as it is or do you want to let the or do you want to continue to block the truth whatever it is i mean it it, it we got a painful stressful decision here put it that way I feel like um, you're going to be probably, this is it, I got it's time to face your fears. This is, this is the ultimate fear. It's like all of a sudden we got this <sighs> person that we probably know is not good for us, okay? This person is not good for us. It's not, you know, but the attraction is so strong that we just can't. 
say no that kind of energy I'm not saying that you can't say no but I'm just giving you a perspective here I mean we know this isn't good for us we do we do we do but it feels so good it feels so good right and now you know we get this this we get faced with this decision now we got to make this decision and I feel like this decision is going to bring about some conflict and some tension and, you know, probably some fears. Um, perhaps whoever you were dealing with in the past didn't want to commit. And they haven't been happy. They haven't been happy. And there's unfinished business. They, they're lost and empty. Who somebody? There's unfinished business here, okay, with the world reversed. There's unfinished business, and now you're going to be put in the position to make a choice based on your intuition, okay? Your intuition is going to be the, the factor here that helps you to decide whether you should even consider going back to this situation or not your intuition has the answer follow your gut because it feels like somebody is going to come forth with a message that perhaps they want forgiveness or they apologize or maybe they come with a, a gift or something it could even be a ring I don't know they come with something that really pains you it does it pains you because it's what you want it you want it but you 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 probably know it's not good for you um oh you know but it is this this person does have good intentions whoever this person is they have good intentions they uh are they maybe they have matured maybe they have matured maybe they went from this immature child to maybe they've matured over time you definitely could be dealing with a capricorn taurus or virgo okay we have capricorn we have capricorn taurus virgo we have capricorn taurus virgo here we have capricorn taurus virgo here this is the knight of pentacles reversed the page of pentacles reversed or upright the king of pentacles and we have capricorn here we have leo we have pisces we have aries leo sagittarius we have Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. Um, we can say we have everybody because we do. It doesn't really matter what the sign is. Although, what we really have is we have a person that probably has matured, is coming in with a, an opportunity that they feel is stable they're they they're coming in with a genuine opportunity they are they're, it's like they're being honest here they are so I don't feel like this person you know maybe they they think that maybe they're trying to do the right thing maybe they are trying to do the right thing But they could be trying to uh, bump up their bank account as well. Just put that, put it that way. I mean, it could go either way. Because this guy, I mean, both of these men can be very greedy. So, um, this could be based on greed, especially with that devil card. You know, I want what you got. I want your, your uh, stability. I want you to provide for me that kind of energy oh god the five of swords son of a bitch I hate this card this is somebody that has probably hurt you in the past and that's why you know it's not good for you now they want to take their power back this person has has really brought you down in the past You are definitely going to be presented with an unexpected decision, a choice, okay? And this is about closure. 
you have an opportunity to close this once and for all or go back. Maybe this person has matured. I don't know. Has this person matured? Or what are their motives? What are their motives? What are their motives? It really looks to me like they want to take their power back. It's like I want to take my power back. Oh, God, yes, they do want to take their power back. Somebody wants to uh, take back control of a situation that they walked away from in the past. They want to go back. It feels like this person, you know, it feels like they are trying to do the right thing. But why now? Why now? Why now? Why come back now? Because you're doing so damn good. Because you're so abundant. Because you're rich. It's funny. I was going to... I'm not even going to say it. Never mind. You're good. Because you're doing so good. And if And if they don't come back now... Somebody else is going to take you. Somebody else is going to pick you because you're ready. You're ready. You're abundant. You know your worth. Everybody can see it. And when everybody else can see it, you don't stay single for long. So it looks like we have somebody that is coming in after they have realized that you can take very good care of them. Is there any love here in these cards? I mean, where's the love here? Well, come on now. I don't see any Ace of Cups. I don't see any Two of Cups. I don't see any fucking love. Where's the love? Because I want to see some fucking love. Where's the love? Is there any love here? Oh God, don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Don't be taken advantage of here because, you know, maybe somebody wants a fresh start, but where's the love? Maybe, I mean, this says take a risk. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith. I should just, I should just step over the edge into the unknown And get cheated when, I mean, where is the love? I want to see the love. Somebody wants to go back. Somebody wants to go back to what they left and start over. But will there be any love? Let's change this up. Is there, good, is there any love here? Where's, is there any love? Is there any feelings involved with this? Is there any feelings? Because I, I can't, I'm not sure I see any feelings here yet. I mean, is there any positive feelings? I mean, is this based on greed? Is it based on codependency? Is it based on materialism? Is it based on a roof? Is it based on money? I mean, where is the love? Is there any love? Is there any love? Oh, doesn't look good. I mean, how many cards do we got here? Doesn't look like it's going to lead to much if there isn't any love. If there isn't any happiness. If I mean, what is this about? Is this about taking back that power? Is it really, really about taking back control of a situation? Is it really all about money? Is that what it's all about? One more time. One more time. I'm going to ask if this, there's any love here. Does this person have feelings, love for the other person that they want to go back to? You need to reevaluate this situation. Really step back. 
This person may not want to be alone. It doesn't look like it's based on love. Good luck.